ladies and gentlemen, welcome to fine beautiful faces. I hope you're well. Welcome to another GTA 5 video. This time round, we're going to be looking at the top paint jobs for the Grotty Bestia. I swear to God, man, I absolutely love this car. I have fallen in love with it. I love the front end of it so much, and then just on the side right there, I don't know. I absolutely love it. I, 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 no. Oh. I was so skeptical about this car to start with, I wasn't too sure, but now I absolutely love it. I love everything about it, so I'm super excited to get in, try some paint jobs. I will be honest, if you have seen our Pegasi Reaper and Vapid FMJ video on the top paint jobs, we're probably going to be using some of the same paint jobs. Main reason being is I know for a fact that they're going to make this car look absolutely freaking phenomenal. So, with further ado, let's get into it and let's do our first paint job. Now with this bad boy of a paint job for the first one that we have selected, it is, well, believe it or not, you're never going to guess what the colours are. Although, it does look extremely black and this is what I was going for. I was going for a car that was literally almost midnight black. And, well, I think we succeeded. I really, really do. So if I zoom in, literally, there's nothing about this car that kind of gives the colours away. It's almost as if it is just pure black. But believe it or not, guys, it's not. It is midnight blue metallic with a bleached brown pearlescent. I don't know why or how it even comes close to what it does, but you can see the brown a little bit if you go up close to it. But I don't know how those two colors work, but oh my good God. It just makes the car look absolutely phenomenal. Like, it's almost just pure black. I absolutely love it. Hopefully you guys will. Now, I know this on the Pegasi Reaper looks absolutely insane. I know it looks pretty sweet on the T20, for example, and on the Osiris. But, oh my god, it works so freaking nice on this car as well. Like, seriously, especially with the black Cheetah RR um, alloys, it looks so goddamn nice. Let me know if you like this one as well. I mean, a lot of people do like the plain, simple black cars, and I think this, bizarrely, even though it's not black paint, Makes it look so freaking nice. I just love everything about it. I really, really do. Now, this one it is a user-suggested one. And it's very similar and reminds me of uh, when a mobile phone came out. I can't remember what it was. It was um, one of the very first phones that ever came out with a color screen. So, as you can imagine, that's going back quite some time. But right now, believe it or not, this is not white. This is actually a base color of diamond blue. Now, with the Pearl Essen, I did try it out with a couple of others because I didn't want to go straight for the user-suggested one. And, well, you can try it with a uh, Dew Yellow or Race Yellow or something crazy like that. But at the moment, we've got a Lime Green on. So, as you can imagine, in certain aspects, it does give it a nice little green tinge. I mean, you can see it just a little bit, ever so slightly, on the front bumper. But when you're driving as well, the back end goes green, which is really, really nice. Now, I'm not too sure if it works uh, that well with Lime Green. I'm not overly confident that it is an actual nice paint job. I mean, it does it does work. I mean, I like it. It is slightly different. I mean, you're not going to be seeing many cars in this color. I mean, there's not many cars that can pull off just a white color as well. I will be honest. Like, they do need some form of a life or some form of more of a darker color. But let me know if you like this one or not. I mean, I am a little bit skeptical about it. You guys are probably going to hate it. I mean... I don't know. I mean, you don't have to use the lime green, but if you go for a diamond blue, just go and try the pearl essence out and try a few different colors. I mean, it works quite well with the red as well, or any form of the reds. I mean, like I said, it does work with the dew yellow, and the lime green, well, obviously that is what we've got on at the moment. And you can see it ever so slightly, but yeah, I'm not overly sold on this one. So maybe this one isn't a top paint job. Maybe this one is just, meh. A pointless paint job. I don't know, but hey ho, thank you for the user suggestion anyway on this one. But let's get in and let's try what another one. You want me to perform? So with this bad boy color, you guys will probably be familiar with this if you've seen his other videos, but oh my good god, I never in a million years expected lime green to work on this car as well as it does. Now if you've seen his other videos, you will have probably uh, be thinking, alright, okay, he he's put the lava red on as the pearl essence. Actually, no, I haven't. The red pearlescents do actually work on this car quite well, but I've actually gone with hot pink. Main reason being is, I need that, that little extra bit of brightness to it, you know? That little extra bit of vibrantness. I mean, it works quite well. It, it's really random. I don't understand how it works. I really don't. But lime green in this car just looks absolutely amazing, especially with the little lime green trim that you get inside look. I don't know if you guys actually realized that or knew that, but you do get the little stitching on the trim look. 
which just looks absolutely amazing. I freaking love it, mate. It's such a nice little touch. But if we like zoom in and have a look around the car, I never in a million years expected Lion Green to work with this. I think the Cheetah RRs on this car are absolutely perfect, I really do, and I love the carbon roof. I think the carbon fibre roof is absolutely amazing, with the little additional uh, carbon trim on the spoiler. I mean, it just looks absolutely freaking phenomenal. As you can see there, the hot pink is just popping out a little bit on the back end right there, just making it a little bit more brighter. It is giving a little bit of a tint of the orange and the red and the burnt colour that we normally have on it as well, but... I decided with hot pink because, well, it just makes it that little bit more bright, you know, and it just pops a little bit more. I mean, it's not a bog standard lime green, and obviously we do use the lava red quite a lot, but the lava red doesn't really work on this. You, I think the lime green and lava red works better on supercars, whereas opposed to just a normal car like this bad boy. Oh, we just crashed, but look at it, man. I absolutely love it. Let me know if you like this one. I never in a million years expected the lime green to work as well as it does with this. Which means I'm going to be super excited to try our famous Lava Red. Oh my god. But yes, we are going to be trying out that Lava Red on this bad boy. I think next up, bro. Oh, I don't know. I think the next one is going to be a little bit of a hit and miss. It is another user suggested one. But let's see what this one looks like. Now, I will be honest. This color, this paint job, it reminds me of um, nail polish, you know. like It's a color that my missus would probably have. It is super bizarre and super random. I don't know how I feel about it. I do like the look of it. It is extremely dark though, and I think the back end works really well with it. I don't know, but I don't, it's so bizarre. Like, the trim inside the car is not as good as, say, the lime green, but it just looks so random. Like, it just instantly reminds me of nail polish. So, for the metallic, we've got Bakes uh, Red and a Bog Standard Red, should I say, sorry. But the pearlescent, you can see it there, is actually Frost Ice White. And it kind of gives it a little bit of a matte color and a matte feel to it with a little bit of a, I don't know, it looks glittery to me, like almost glittery. But it does turn the front end of it kind of matte and I like that, I like it, I really do. I like the fact that in some light it, it's kind of metallic and it's all shiny and then in certain aspects of the car just there like on the back end, it's almost as if it goes matte. I, I don't know. I'm not too sure how I feel about this one, I do like it though, but nah. It is another user suggested comment or paint job and well, yeah, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide, but oh, The last paint job that we are going to use though is obviously going to be our famous lava red that we use on all our cars in these uh, videos And you know what? I'm super excited for it because I've got a feeling it's going to look absolutely phenomenal just like the lime green did Oh my good god. I love the lava red. I really really do. So here we go. Fingers crossed ladies and gentlemen. Oh my good god. I will say this though, I haven't gone with the pearlescent lime green that we normally go with, mainly being it made the car look a little bit darker. So I've gone with the freaking yellow pearlescent, like oh my god. It works quite well with the do yellow as well, but look at it, oh my good god. It looks so freaking nice. Honestly, I think our lime green color and our lava red color looks absolutely phenomenal. On all these four new cars that we've had from Legendary Motors in this DLC, Finance and Felony, I think they just look absolutely amazing in the, those two colors, you know? It looks so freaking sweet. Like, look at this bad boy, honestly. It looks so nice. I don't know if it's because I like Iron Brew, so I love the color of it more, but just look at how the light shimmers off the back end of it and the side of the door. Like, you can see the yellow just popping through. It looks so freaking goddamn nice. And if you want to see what the trim looks like inside, there you go. I quite like the trim inside. Obviously, it's not as good as the lime green. I do think the lime green trim inside is absolutely phenomenal. Like, it just pops. I definitely think the Cheetah RR tires, or alloys, sorry, definitely need to be had on this car. I think these alloys go with everything on this car, especially with the carbon fiber on top. I think if you were to put the carbon wrap on the alloys as well, I think that could work. But I don't know. I freaking love this car now. I have such a nice love for it. Nice love? I don't even know if that's an actual valid sentence, but <laughs> I have a newfound love for it either way. And I don't know. I really, really like this car. Guys, let me know if you used any of these colors or if you like any of these colors or... As always, if you've got a color suggestion yourself, I mean, we have used two suggestions already. We used the diamond blue, for example. But either way, guys, I will see you later. Look after yourself. Don't do anything crazy. And uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye. Thank you for checking out this video. If you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like. It would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in another video.